Hello there, this is Rahil from All About Affiliate Marketing. In today's video, we will talk about how to create and use PartnerStack affiliate account. So let me take you to the website, which is PartnerStack.com. For the ones who don't know about them, PartnerStack is a software platform that helps businesses build, manage, and scale their partner programs, in short, affiliate programs. It provides tools for companies to collaborate with their partners, track the performance of their partnerships, and automate various aspects of partner management, such as tracking leads, managing commissions, and providing resources to partners. So if you're looking for an amazing platform that specializes in SaaS affiliate programs, I mean software as a service affiliate programs, then partner stack for you. What do I mean by that? Let's say if you are looking for those brands who don't provide product or services, but rather software as a service, so you could join the affiliate program of those brands through partner stack as an affiliate and start promoting them those brands and start earning commission and generally these brands software as a service brands they provide higher commission rate so these kind of brands could be very good for you so without further ado let's talk more about them so you can definitely come to the website you can learn all about them and if you want to join them as a client as a vendor you could do that you could also join them as a publisher so the purpose of this video is to provide the overview or understanding of how to use publisher dashboard or rather the affiliate dashboard so on partner stack they call affiliates as publishers so don't get confused so how do you have an account with partner stack as an affiliate for that you can simply click on get started we should take you to this page over here you can say empower your partners accelerate growth so if you want to join them as a client and if you want other affiliates or other publishers to promote you in order to earn commission for them they'll earn commission and you'll get sell you could book a demo otherwise for this video i'm going to show for the affiliates and for your case as well if you want to be an affiliate with partner stack you could simply click on join the network so when you do that it will take you to the sign up process sign up process is pretty simple so you can start by adding your email address here whatever information you write here ensure you have to write the uh, proper information because partner stack team can see that and if you try to provide them information then it could not work for you so provide the accurate information enter your email address click on continue then it should take you to the next screen where it will ask you for your first name let me choose my name for the educational purpose i'm going to write dummy information here but for you, I would advise you to write the proper information. Then I'm going to choose the name as A3 Marketing. Then you can choose a password as well. Uh, so when you're typing in the password, ensure it should have at least eight characters, one number, one uppercase character, one symbol, and one lowercase character. And then read the terms of service. Then tick mark I agree to partner stack and create yourself an account. Once you do that, it will take you to the next step. As you can see, we are currently on second step. So once you've given all the details, it will try to see whether you have given the information correctly and will process you to the next step. So here they will say that they have sent an email to the given email address and you have to go to the email account and you have to click on the verification link to confirm that this account belongs to you. So ensure you're logged into your account and from there, you could see this email, verify your email address. So you can click here and there will be a verification link. You can click on verify email button and then it will verify your email address and will take you further to, to the next registration step. As you can see, it's verifying uh, my account. In your case, it's gonna do the same and it could take anywhere between a few seconds to a couple of minutes time. And then once it's done, you will see email verification successful. You can dismiss it and let it take you further. And once that's done, here you can see apply to partner stack network. Tell partners take about your business. Once you approve, you'll get 75% higher chance of being accepted to programs, better discovery by in-demand programs, smart suggestions, you'll see that. And as you can see, what type of partners, so these are the questions. And this, I would highly recommend you don't cross it out because when you become part of partner stack, you have to promote the brands. You have to connect with different brands out there and you have to promote them. So it's super important. You provide as much details as you can about your business. So that helps kind of brands to decide whether you are a good fit for them or not. So you can, on this screen, you can start uh, with answering these questions one at a time. So what type of partner are you? select more than one if applicable so let's say if you're an affiliate marketer then you could go with this and let's say if you're an affiliate marketer as well as value add reseller just tick mark that too so whatever suits you you can select one or more and then click on next 
then it will ask for your business website. Uh, let's say if you got a website, if you don't have a website, then what about a blog? Do you have a blog? Um, what, what if you don't even have a blog? In that case, you could write maybe a social media account. So point is, whenever you plan to promote the, the brand of partner stack, you should write your website address in here. In my case, I'm just going to write a dummy website. But in your case, again, I would not advise you to do that. So let me write it for me. So this is my dummy website, let's assume. But as you can see, the requirement is the website should have this. So if it doesn't matter if you're adding your website or blog or maybe a social media page in here, ensure it should have this added. And then you can also see, click here to see if it's work. Then comes the LinkedIn provide uh, personal or companies. So let's say if you're representing a company and if you're creating this partner's check account for your company and you plan to promote all these runs on your company's website, then you could give the LinkedIn profile of your company. Otherwise, you can give your own LinkedIn profile. And as you can see, this is super important. So you should give that. So let me add this URL as well. Uh, see, it won't work. So it needs a LinkedIn profile. So let me grab that. So let's assume that this is my LinkedIn profile. I have added this profile, same way you should be adding your own LinkedIn profile. Now, for the ones who don't know about LinkedIn, it's a kind of a professional social media platform. So it's great to showcase your professional success. So you could create an account, it's free to create over there. And once you create your account, there will be a link to your profile. That's what you can take and you can add it here. And then comes, where are you located? So you have to you have to select the country of residence here. In my case, I'm gonna go with India. In your case, whatever your uh, country of residence is, you can do that. And then you have to tell them about your business. This is also important because this is what helps the brand and as well as uh, partner stack to ensure that um, you, you are a genuine person and it's it's good to have you in their network. So you can write something about you. In my case, I'm just writing dummy for the educational purpose. Uh, then you can click on next once you've added the details and thereafter you can fill all these details. So what industries do you focus on? You can select here and you can choose your one that kind of is more closest to you. So in my case, let's say I am part of uh, digital advertising. You could also select one more uh, to whatever suits. Then what types of sales channels do you use? You can click here and let's say I do on-site and spaces. I can go with that. Again, whatever you could, whatever suits the most to you, you could do that. And if you have want to have more understanding of these terms, you could even Google search and you will have the understanding of these terms. And then comes what is your audience located? And so this is very important because it will help the, the brand to see your traffic location. And you can see these are all the continents. Let's say if you're getting traffic from all these continents, you can just select all. Otherwise, you can select the one from continent from where you are getting most of the traffic from. It then comes what types of customer do you work with? So let's say uh, for, for me, I have all of you watching the video. And uh, so I can consider myself uh, working with mid-market businesses or small uh, market businesses. So let's go with this one because for me, my videos get watched by businesses as well as individuals. So for me, for me, it would be this one to select more conveniently. Uh, for you, whatever suits, you could select that. Uh, then comes what is your monthly audience size in terms of traffic. Uh, and again, uh, be authentic here because whatever you type in here, it will be easier for partner stack and as well as brands to cross verify. So let's say if my audience monthly audience size is between 10,000 and 5,000, uh, 50,000, then I could select that. In no case, whatever suits you could select. Then comes what is your preferred commission structure. Do you want to get revenue share? Revenue share is basically if you're interested to get a commission on the revenue generation of the brand, then you go with this. Cost per lead is, um, let's say if you're bringing leads to brand, uh, someone who's interested in the service, then you could get commission. Cost per action could be anything. It could be a sell. It could be a lead generation. It could basically be any action uh, that you have agreement uh, with the brand. So any action and you'll get commission on that. Cost per click means uh, getting commission on the number of clicks you bring and then upfront payment. So basically brand wants you to do something uh, and for, for a flat, flat fee. So they pay you something in advance and then you do something for them. So you could select, if you're interested in all of them, why not select all of them? Because I would do that. So you can select whatever your interest is in. And then comes, as you can see, in order to maintain a high quality ecosystem or B2B partnership, the partner stack 
Partner success team will continuously evaluate your profile details along with your activity on the network. Partners tech reserves the right to limit your access to network programs with partnership as see fit. So as I say, partner tech is not a small platform. They really are something. So they will always keep an eye on your information given, your activities, and based on that, they will stick to you. Sometimes it's possible they could even take your account if you're not performing well, but don't be demotivated. It's just they got the control and they could restrict you anytime if you're not performing well. So always try to find different uh, brands and try to promote them, I would suggest. And then click on apply to the network. As, as you can see, thanks to your partner's tech network profile application has been sent to you, uh, the team for review. What's next? You'll be notified by an email and in an app uh, status uh, when there's more changes to it. So partner's tech will see whether you're a good fit for them or not based on the information you provided and will just say you have been approved. Uh, what does mean by approved by partner's tech? Uh, this way you could apply to more brands. Otherwise, you'll be just limited to applying to maybe one or two brands. So this is how you can apply to Partners Tech Network Profile. So once you're done, then you can come here. So as you can see, this it's directly took us to Marketplace. Let's not talk about it. Let's go to the home page first. So when you click on home, here you will get to see quick stats. So you can see your program details in here. So all the programs that you have applied to, you have been approved, activities, quick activities, and all that, you should be able to see in here. And then you would be able to see your all-time stats in here as well, and your activity too. And if you want to know anything more about these things, you can always click on this um, question mark icon or discover programs and it will take you even further. Uh, so this is how you could have a quick look into your programs, your states and all that. But then what do you have to do? What's more important thing? So once you got the access to the dashboard, this is the dashboard, you may call it affiliate dashboard or publisher dashboard, whatever you like. So once you're here, you can click on your profile icon on top. And over here, you should click on network profile. And why is that? Because it's super important. Again, your information is up to date in here. So over here, if you scroll down, you will get to see all the information that you have given when you were applying to partner stack team. And plus you can even add more details. So what should program managers provide when reaching out? So you can read that too. Then let's say if you plan to promote the uh, brands of partner stack on multiple locations, let's say you got a website, a blog and social media accounts, then you must enter all those details in here. It's super important. Then uh, if you got a, a business logo, let's say if you're representing a company, then you must have a business logo. What if you're representing a website? probably your own website, then you might want to upload the logo of your website. What if you got a social media page, then maybe the logo of that, and these are the recommendations. So you can upload. It's, it's always good because it provides a professional view to the brands when you apply to them. So you could do that. You can update the details. Then comes the member section. So here you can click and um, uh, what do you mean by this section? So over here, you will only see yourself, but you have an uh, option to invite more people to your account. Let's say if you're the one managing affiliate activities of your business, but then other people as well who are part of your affiliate uh, business needs. So in that case, you can click on invite member and you can uh, you can just give share this link with them or probably write an email, just add the email address in here, enter the email address, click on send invite, and they will get link. They will click on the link. It will just ask them a few questions. Once they have entered the question, they will be part of your account. So the, the moment they will log in, they will see the same account that you're seeing. So you're basically inviting more people to it. So either you could just do it by clicking on this and you will see all the all, all the members in here. Or you could also go to invite directly and copy it from here, totally up to you. And all the invites uh, you will be able to see in here. And when was it sent, what was the action? Then comes to financial. So you can click on financial and here you, you, can, you can mention your business name, your web text ID, your address and uh, uh, postal code and all this. And why would you do that? Because it's the withdrawal receipt. So let's say you, when when you get yourself access to partner stack, you start applying to the brands, getting approval, start promoting them, start generating commission or rather rewards, you'll get the commission out, isn't it? You'll get the reward out uh, in form of withdrawal. So there will be a receipt for it. So how this receipt should look like? So this is a format and based on what information you enter in here, you will see it return in here. So your receipt would look something like this uh, from, it will say partner stack, 
stack and two what uh, whatever you have written in here you will have the summary the rewards total again this is the commission amount and then there will be processing fee and total so this is what will help you if uh, you want to show it for tech purpose or maybe to your bank for anything then comes the configuration so you can click on configuration and here you could decide uh, team members can see the rewards they have on so uh, for, for example if you got multiple members part of your affiliate account and if you don't want them to see the rewards that's getting generated you can simply click on edit and you can just hide rewards if you want same way team members can only see the deals they have submitted you can you can decide otherwise you can also decide for team members can also only see state for objects that they own you can also decide for that uh, then comes the notification receive an email when a team a uh, teammate joined your team except for a uh, team in white or joins via domain this is super important otherwise you won't know which member have joined and you won't be able to delete them later so always tick mark this and then click on save changes so this way you would know then comes the danger zone. So if you you can see here, it says delete my team. So all partnership advantages will be removed and this cannot be undone. So in case if you want to delete the account, if you don't see an option to delete, you can simply contact support. Uh, this will open the chat box and you can initiate the request for your accounts to be deleted. But once that's been done, there is no way to get the relationship back pack with your vendors. Vendors means brands. So once you're done with the configuration part, you can click on the profile again. And this time you can go to my account to set up more details. So we are still going through with the registration process. I know it's, it's a detailed one because all, all these things are super important. Uh, then from there, you can click on profile. So again, you click on your icon, click on notification, and then click on your profile. Update your first, ensure your first name, last name is up to date. Email address will be there, phone number. You can provide if you like. You can provide business links business website linkedin profile tutor handle here uh, and then provide your address to and language settings you could do and your preferred country uh, currency as well that you can select just select on any preferred currency and click on save uh, this is how you can update the details then comes the notification so you can click on notification and you can decide whether you want to get updates from programs uh, that you have joined whether you want to have chat messages from your programs and whether you want to get news from part of stack just tick mark accordingly and click on save then comes the team so here you will get to see your team and this is where you can decide whether you want to keep any uh, member as part of your team or if you want to delete their access then comes the api so you can click on api and uh, if you have knowledge about api and if you want to know like if you really know how to use it then this is a place for you and uh, you can even click on learn more and explore more about it but api is a very advanced topic when it comes to the affiliate marketing uh, so if you are a tech person or having the knowledge of web designing, then this section is for you. Same goes for the post back. Post back to, to cut it short, post back is a way. So whatever rewards or transaction details uh, the platform, in our case, the partner stack would get, it will be pushed push to you through technical meme, uh, means. So it's, it's a bit technical. So again, if you have technical knowledge, then you can explore more or you can click on create a post back and set up a post back for you. But again, it's technical. So if you know about it, that's great. Set it up. If you don't know, then you might want to skip it. And if you want to have more details, click on our beautiful post back guide and it will help you further. So once you're done with setting up all these things in here, you can click on your profile icon again. You can click on FAQ and go through with some frequently asked questions. You and if in case if you have uh, if you want to take support, you can click on technical support as well, and it will open the chat box and you can directly chat uh, with the board. And from there, you can also initiate a message with the support team or tech support team of a partner stack. So this is how it goes. Thereafter, you can see this uh, bell icon. So if you click on the bell icon, you will get to see any notification that's being addressed to you. So you have explored it all, then what? And then comes the marketplace section. Now, what, what is marketplace action? Now, this is the section where you would be able to find all the different brands which are part of partner stack as vendor and uh, the brands which are available for you to apply to. So you can basically apply to the affiliate program. Uh, and once you get the approval from them, you can start promoting them. And as you can see, uh, your network profile is being reviewed. So once that's uh, being reviewed and successfully approved, you won't, this, uh, you won't see this message anymore. Now, over here, you can search for different brands. You can search by category. Uh, you can search by, by program types. Um, the looking for a specific product or product, a program, you can also search. So let's say all these are great programs 
And uh, let's say if you want to apply to Partner Stake. Now, this is great because Partner Stake got themselves their own affiliate account. And let's say if you bring new vendors to them, new clients to them, you could earn anywhere between 15 to 20% commission for the first 12 months of the contract. So that's great. Like whatever... Uh, whatever kind of client you bring to them, you could earn 15 to 20% commission on the total revenue generation. So that's great. And if you want to join the affiliate program of Partner Stack, you can simply click on join program. And over here, you can enter your phone number, website link, or LinkedIn profile. Basically, this is a place where you plan to promote Partner Stack to you to different client out there. And then why you're interested in becoming Partner Stack affiliate partner and click on submit application. When you do that, your application would go to the Partner Stack uh, affiliate program team. They'll see whether you're good fit or not. Based on that, they will give you the approval. Now, let me show you something else. So we got Buddy Punch in here. So let's say if you want to promote them, they'll give you 20%. If I click on join program, you see the form got changed. So here it's asking for first name, uh, last name, email, and business name so with application. So depending on, on the brand that you will click on join program, the information they will ask would be different. So, but it's not super hard. Just go by what they're asking and uh, submit the application. So all brands will have different set of questions and you can simply just answer them and wait for them to give you the approval. Now, how much time could they take? Uh, they could take anywhere between uh, a couple of days to a couple of weeks time. You can simply wait for them. And how would you know whether you have been approved or being declined? You will be notified by an email. You'll receive an email with the confirmation. So let's say you got the approval from the different from, from different brands out there, then what? Then you can just go to their program profile and you can learn more about them and start, you can start promoting them. So let me share another account of mine where I have applied to these brands and I've gotten the approval. So I'm gonna show you how those program profiles look like. Now, this is my approved account uh, by Partner Stack, and uh, this is the account from where I have applied to different brands and I got the approval. So, so to see which program you have applied to, basically you could click on your programs on the top right hand side. And over here, you get to see all the brands that you have ever applied to or have gotten approval from. So in my case, I haven't gotten approval from every one of them. Uh, to them, it's still in pending. For example, Partner Stack, I just applied today. Uh, but for Notion, I got the approval a while back. So whatever you see in here, let's say if you wanna promote that brand and assume that you got on the approval, you can just click on their name uh, from your programs list and then it will take you directly to the program profile of that brand. So in our case, we are at the program profile of Notion. So over here, you get to see different things um, on the program profile within summary section. You get to see the overview of your performance last 12 months and all that. Uh, you, you will see click, signups, bad signups, conversion rate, revenue, pending rewards, paid rewards, and earning per click. So uh, this is a quick view, and then you will see the reward offers here. So whatever agreement that you have with the brand, you will be able to see. So for now, Notion is giving me 50% on the first year of each customer and 50% commission for AI upgrades for the first year of each customer. So depending on the brands, you will see different rewards in here. Then there will be a referral link as well. You can like for any approved brand of year, when you come to the program homepage, you can simply click on uh, copy the referral link and start promoting them uh, to, to your audience. And again, when these audience of yours make sign up or purchase, According to the agreement, you'll get the commission or rewards accordingly. Then comes the performance. So if you click on the performance, again, we are talking uh, about the program profile of Notion. In your case, to, or from whomsoever you have gotten the approval, you can check all these things on their profile. So over here, you will see um, performance in depth, as you can see by each month. Uh, and then it will give you a better idea. Then comes all these different things that you could check. Uh, for example, if you want to check the referred domain, like the, the place from where the activities are coming from, you can click on referred domain and you will have the understanding. As you can see, most of the clicks came from YouTube. So that's why I see it in your case, from wherever it's coming, you can see that. Uh, then the other things as well, geolocation as well. For example, if you want to know uh, from which country your your audience are coming to or, or maybe clicking on your tracking link and coming to your approved brand you can click on geolocation and it will provide you the data too then comes links 
So what if you want to customize your own link instead of just using one referral link? What if you want to create your own link? So in that case, you can click on the link section and you can, you can just copy this. For affiliates, you can copy this. Uh, let's say if I copy this and if I share with my audience and if they click on the link, then it will take them to uh, this page on the Notion website. As you can see here, this page. So um, this is how you can you can get the link and you can share them and ensure you, you're only using the tracking link of yours because otherwise Notion won't be able to track and Partner Stack also won't be able to track your refer or your rewards. Uh, then let's say if you want to create your own tracking link rather than uh, you know just using the already created link, in that case, you can click on create a custom link and over here, you can give a title, you can give the link description and uh, uh, you can put just your, uh, your custom link. For example, I'm on Notion website. So I can go to notion.com. And from there, let's assume that uh, I want to promote uh, this one, the wikis. Uh, I want to promote the wiki section of Notion. So I can click on that. Um, and like this, you can go to, to the website. You can get any link. I'll put the link in here. You have to describe as well. So I'm just going to write test. Uh, let's write Notion test. Uh, and then I can also write here more. So Notion wikis maybe. Um, there's no set of rules for it except the maximum and minimum characters. Then you can come to uh, customize your links. And over here, you can, if you want, you can customize too. So I'm going to write here product wikis. And over here, I have to write the actual link destination, like where would I want my audience to go to when they click on the link. So I can provide this link and I can click uh, create link. So this is how I can create the tracking link for any web page of my approved brand. And when that's being created, I should be able to see them in here. So as you can see, Notion test, so I can copy it and I can share this link with anyone. And again, when someone would click on it and make the purchase or sign up something, then I'll get the commission accordingly. Then there will be some recommended links that you could activate and you could start promoting them. Then comes the customer. So you could click on customer and you get to see more details like contacts, data source, revenue, and it created. So basically the audience that you, you brought to Notion and if anyone ended up becoming a part of them, uh, and that would have generated some revenue uh, for them, then you should be able to see them in here. You can also search by status or source, uh, then come resources available for you. So you can click here and depending on the branch, you would see different set of resources. For Notion, I can see how to use affiliate links to share your own templates, Notion affiliate program resource guide. In your case, again, whatever profile you're looking at, the approved profile, you get to see the resources accordingly. Then come the messages section. So over here, you can directly share with the brand. Let's say if you have any question uh, and it, you want to ask to the Notion team, you can write a message in here and send it and wait for them to respond. So this is how you can chat with them. And if you ever decide to leave a program, you got the hand here. You can click on leave program and follow the process to leave the program. So like this, if you want to get to the program uh, profile of other brands, you can simply click on switch program. And uh, from the from the option available, you could choose that as well. For example, partner stack that I want to get into. So if if I click on partner stack, I will take me to the partner stack profile. And here I can see my application was received. And I don't, right now I don't have access to all these sections because I haven't received the approval. It could take anywhere between a couple of days to um, between a couple of days to a couple of weeks time. And once I've gotten the approval, then um, I can see all, all these access and I can start promoting them. So like this, you can um, you can wait for the brands to approve you. So let's say you got the approval uh, from the brands and you started creating the links and uh, started promoting them, start generating rewards, where would you see your performance? That's the end of the question, isn't it? So for that, you can click on reporting. And when you do that, it will take you to the reporting section. It will load up all the dashboard overview. Here you get to see your performance. Um, you can wait for it to load. It could take anywhere uh, between a few seconds to a minute. And uh, you get to see your performance altogether. And you can, you can run it by a month. Our time frame, a program, and the currency value as well. Uh, you can you can see a summary graph, your refer summary, our transaction reward summary. All details will be available here. And if you want to know about your commission, you can click on rewards, and here you get to see your commission too. 
you can again wait for it to load because uh, it kind of generates the data and we're going to show it to you and then you can run it by time frame currency customer name uh, program sub id description and all these values so what about the commission of it so here you get to see the the analytics the performance the commission but how would you receive the commission from partner stack for your performance so whatever commission uh, will be generated it will be generated in here and the partner stack will get that uh, will get that commission from the brands and you can withdraw that commission from partner stack so for that you can click on rewards and withdrawals and once you're here, you can um, you can see available funds, so nothing to withdraw. But like once you see it, uh, you will also see an option to withdraw. But before that, you have to set up the payment method too. So you can click on set up withdrawals, and you will have an option to set direct deposit. If you go with direct deposit, you can expect it to deliver within five business days. Five business days from the moment when you have initiated the withdrawal. Uh, and processing fee would vary depending on the bank uh, account currency. Uh, if you go with the PayPal, it could take 12 business days. Processing fee will gonna be 2% of the withdrawal amount, maximum $20 USD that you could request for the withdrawal. And if you go with the Stripe, then it could be within 14 business days, 2.25 USD plus 0.25% of the withdrawal amount gonna be the charge and maximum gonna be 20 USD. So let's say if you go with the direct deposit option, so you can click on direct deposit you can select your uh, bank account currency the usd the account details and all these details and once you've done it uh, your banking details would be set up and next time you can simply click on withdrawal you should you sh should be able to see a button in here for withdrawal you can simply click on it and withdraw the commission and if you go via paypal you can click on paypal enter your email address and confirm the paypal email address and connect and this way you would have an option to get the get a withdrawal either by direct deposit or paypal so this is how you can update your payment method and then comes projected earnings for this month so you have an option to change it to next month the rest of 2024 so it's going to use the ai to see how much you could earn based on your performance and then if you scroll down here you get to see your reports basically your commission by which program by which source uh, and what's the reward status and estimated available date and the amount so you have to understand the statuses of these rewards as well now what is reward statuses so if you click on learn about reward statuses, you can see here pending approval. So that means if you, let's assume that you got the approval from uh, Iberon ABC and they provide commission to you on signups. So you, you brought the sign up. you'll see the reward over there as pending approval. That means the brand is yet to review and yet to confirm whether it's verified or not. And they could put it on hold. That means they haven't reviewed it yet. They may decline. So if they feel like the sign up wasn't good enough, they may decline it. They usually approve it if everything goes well. So you will see the status being approved and pending payment. And once the brand has approved a sign up of yours, basically a reward, and you will see the status get changed to available to withdraw. So basically green means available to withdraw then you would be able to withdraw the amount and you will see this icon. So just be aware of all these icons and what this indicates. So let's say you you got the amount here, you got the amount for the withdrawal and you went with the withdrawal. You, you can also utilize other options as well, like export rewards and this way you, you'll have the file as well. Now let's say all the withdrawals that's being issued to you and if you wanna track that out, you can click on withdrawals and over here, you get to see all the commission uh, that's being issued to you from partner stack once you have initiated the withdrawal. And if you want to learn more about it, you can click on learn more about withdrawals and here you will find the cushions. So this is how you can explore homepage. You can go to marketplace, explore all different uh, brands, apply to their affiliate program, uh, go to each program uh, page, create links, start promoting them, use reporting, rewards, and withdrawal section to get the commission. But what if you have question and uh, you you need answers for that you can find in the video? So in that case, you could click on support center from the from the bottom right hand side, uh, which will take you to this page. Uh, and over here, you will find uh, the normal sections that you could explore and you can find your answer. You can also search for any question and uh, those questions will be available here. And uh, this way you can just click on those questions and the answers will be there. So, and, and if you ever wanna reach out to the team of partner stack, uh, for any question, you can always click on your profile, click on technical support and initiate the chat. And from there, you should be able to connect with the support team of partner stack as well all right so 
to have gone through with all the section of partner stack. But what if you decide to log out now? What should you do? Simply click here and log out as well. So after the logout, you want to log in again. So what you should be doing in that case, um, just simply come to the website partnerstack.com. And from there, you should see an option to log in. As you can see, simply click on the login button and then it will take you to entering your credentials. Like you can enter your email address or you can also continue uh, with, the, with the email address you have in here. So this is how you could use the affiliate account or rather the affiliate dashboard of Partner Stack. And this brings us to the end of the video. I hope the video was helpful to you and will help you while managing your dashboard with Partner Stack. For me, if you want me to create a video on the affiliate program of any brand or affiliate network any affiliate network out there or any affiliate marketing related topic you have in mind feel free to write it in the comment section and i'll try my best to create a video on it in the meantime don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that any video i create like this you get notified for the same thanks for watching